Hi, it's Pastor Beam TV again. Thank you for staying tuned with us. God has been so good. For who is like unto this God? Oh, he's a awesome God. What can we give him? What can we offer him? He deserves all the glory and all the honor. To worship you, Wale. To worship you, Wale. He does. To worship he does. He deserves all the glory, to worship you, all the honor, to worship you, none compare with him. To He's awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. God is good. All the time he is good. He is good. He is good. He is good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We will live to worship Him. We will live to adore Him. How can we say thanks, Lord, for all the things You have done for us, things so undeserved, yet You gave to prove Your love for us? A voice of a million angels cannot express our gratitude. All that we are, ever hope to be, we give it all to you. To you be the glory. Great things you have done. I'm speaking like this because of what my eyes have seen, what my ears have heard. I've, been, I've just been exposed to his wonders. I've just been exposed to his miracle. I've just been exposed to his dynamic way, the dynamic where he does his things beyond human reasoning. This God, this our God, the Bible said they that know their God, they will be strong and they will do exploits because they know their God. Do you know your God? He's not an absentee father. Maybe you are the one that is not cleaving to him. Yoke with him as in cleave to him. Be inseparable from him. He said, cast your cares upon me for I care. He says, bring your yoke, put it on me. He says, bring it. If he carries the weight of the world upon his shoulders. I know my brother that he will carry you. If he carries the weight of the world upon his shoulder, I know my sister that he will carry you. And he says, come unto me, all who are weary, and I will give you rest. Jesus is not in the business of lying. Maybe you are the one who is doing something wrong. Something is missing. He is able to do whatever he says he will do. Don't forget, he woke Lazarus four days dead. This thing happened in heaven. It happened here or not. When he was stinking but he says unwrap that clothes grave clothes from him and he walked out of the grave <laughs> hallelujah don't limit this god my eyes have just been exposed to some things moments before this recording where i said mm, I i'm not so sure <laughs> don't limit god there is a way where there seems to be no way. He's the way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, the light that gets you to destination. When the world says that there is no way, and he says there is a way, just keep moving. No stopping. The Bible says, he will be with you. He will walk with you. He will not leave you as orphans. 
He's your standby. He's your comforter. And he's even your advocate in case the enemy is accusing you that you don't have a right to these blessings. No one can accuse you. The Bible lets us know that there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. He calls you the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I don't care how dirty you think you are. He says, come unto me, all who are weary and I will give you rest. True rest is in Christ. There is no rest anywhere else. It's just shadows. He's coming back again. My God is coming back again. He went away and promised he's coming back again. He's coming back again. My God is coming back again. He went away and promised he is coming back again. So maybe because you don't have a relationship with him, all this looks like far-fetched. He's coming back again. How is he going to meet you? Short-changed? Don't be short-changed. Embrace Jesus. Your miracle is right around the corner. Take everything I've said to you today. Practice it. Walk the word out. He shall testify also. It's been miracle galore from the session I just stepped out from. Yours is next in line. Have a blessed rest of your day and ensure that you subscribe to this channel if you have. Share this video and